Apple Vision Pro 3D movies hit Apple TV. The iPhone 15 Pro's spatial videos on Vision Pro will change everything. Apple extends invitations to developers for specialized labs, workshops, and Vision Pro sessions. These are all the Vision Pro updates we will go over today, so without further ado, let's get right into it. Here's something exciting for all you movie buffs. Ahead of the big launch of the Vision Pro headset next year, 3D content is starting to pop up in the Apple TV app, as noted by Flat Panels HD. With the new tvOS 17.2 update, the Apple TV app's gotten a bit of a makeover, and now there's a bunch of movies marked with a little 3D icon, right next to other icons like Dolby Atmos and 4K. This is to get ready for when you can watch them in full 3D glory with a Vision Pro headset. Right now, without the headset, we can't watch these movies in 3D, so it's a bit of a mystery what the resolution and frame rate will be like. But check out some of the titles already showing up with that 3D tag. Jurassic World Dominion, Pacific Rim Uprising, Shrek, Trolls, Warcraft, Minions, The Rise of Gru, Mortal Engines, Everest, Kung Fu Panda 3, and more. Looks like there'll be plenty of 3D fun to dive into once the Vision Pro is here. Back in June, when Apple unveiled the Vision Pro headset, they showed off a 3D version of Avatar The Way of Water to give us a taste of what entertainment on this device will be like. They talked up how you'll be able to watch not just 2D and 3D movies, but also immersive films, even feeling like you're in a virtual cinema. And that's not all. Apple's planning to make some of its Apple TV Plus content available in a brand new, super immersive 3D video format. One of the shows mentioned is Monarch Legacy of Monsters. So it sounds like whether you're into action, adventure, or just love getting lost in a good story, the Vision Pro is going to make it all feel more real than ever. The iPhone 15 Pro's spatial videos on Vision Pro will change everything. Starting with the new iOS 17.2 update that's still in beta, but should be out by December, if you've got an iPhone 15 Pro or Pro Max, you're in for a treat. You'll be able to record spatial videos with 3D depth, which is perfect for watching on the upcoming Vision Pro headset. To get the full 3D effect, you need to hold your iPhone sideways using both the main and ultra-wide cameras. You can turn this feature on by going to your settings, tapping on camera, and then formats. Once you do that, you'll see a new button in your camera app when you're in video mode. These spatial videos will record in 1080p quality at 30 frames per second. Apple recommends keeping your iPhone sideways and steady to get the best 3D videos. And if you're planning to get a Vision Pro, this setting will be ready to go for you automatically. Now, when you play these videos back on your iPhone, they'll look like regular 2D videos without the 3D depth. But once you get them on the Vision Pro, you'll see the difference. So keep an eye out for that update and get ready for some 3D fun. While we all have to wait until early 2024 inches to get our hands on the Vision Pro here in the US, Apple's given a sneak peek to some members of the press. They got to use an iPhone 15 Pro to record their own spatial videos and then watch them right there on the Vision Pro headset. Pretty cool, right? But Apple's keeping things under wraps for now. They're not letting the press share any photos or videos of what the Vision Pro looks like. So all we've got are their written thoughts and feelings about what it's like to use it. One of those sharing their experience is Joanna Stern from the Wall Street Journal in her Tech Things newsletter, and this is what she said. At the demo, I recorded a sushi chef holding a piece of sushi. When I watched it back in the Vision Pro, the sushi and the chopsticks really looked 3D. They were clearly in the foreground, hovering closer to me than the rest of the imagery. Of course, the lighting was perfect when recording. We'll have to see how it does in imperfect conditions. Apple showed me some other spatial videos. In one, a dad was telling his young kids a story in the back of an RV. It was so lifelike and cozy that it almost creeped me out. Why am I spying on this random family? That's obviously the big appeal here. Spatial videos create intimacy in ways 2D photos and videos don't. This is what The Street's Jacob Kroll mentioned. Likely as Apple intended, capturing spatial video is simple and feels just as intuitive as shooting in another one of the modes on the iPhone, 15 Pro or iPhone 15 Pro Max. You'll turn the phone into the landscape to unlock the recording mode, indicated by a headset icon, and see a level appear as you're filming. Horizon view and level are important, as an ultra-shaky video can be more jarring when playing back on the Vision Pro. In my experience, I captured a professional sushi chef creating a few standard rolls and rice balls, as well as the chef holding up the end product. I gradually approached, 
placing the roll while it was suspended in the air via chopsticks by about a foot and a half way. The iPhone did an excellent job of switching focus while I was moving around the piece of sushi and capturing the chef in the background. You can also manually click to focus if you'd like. And this is what CNET's Scott Stein mentioned about spatial videos. The videos look great, and the 3D is compellingly realistic. They're also easy to record, and can save as videos that will play back in 2D in a normal video format. But ultimately, this feature is made for a 2024 product that at $3,500, it's safe to say most people won't buy anytime soon. Still, the experience is impressive. Scott Stein shared that Apple's going to update its professional video editing app, Final Cut Pro, to support spatial video editing sometime next year. This means that all the cool 3D videos you record can be edited using Apple's own Pro software. And for those with an iPhone 15 Pro, you can start playing around with spatial video recording right now if you've got the second beta of iOS 17.2. Apple just released it to developers yesterday and to public beta testers today. So if you're curious and want to get a feel for creating content for the Vision Pro, now's your chance to dive in and start experimenting. Apple extends invitations to developers for specialized labs, workshops, and Vision Pro sessions. Back in September, Apple started this cool thing called Meet with the Apple Experts to help developers get the most out of their apps. Well, this month, they're continuing with more labs as part of that program. Developers will get to dive deep into how to make their apps stand out on the App Store, how to keep users engaged, and the best ways to handle subscriptions. And if you're a developer itching to get your hands on the Vision Pro, you're in luck. Apple's setting up test labs in cities all around the world. Cupertino, London, Munich, New York City, Shanghai, Singapore, Sydney, and Tokyo. So, lots of opportunities to see what's possible with this new tech. Apple's really pulling out all the stops to support their developer community. Apple's not just stopping at labs and app store activities. They're also offering special sessions focused on the Vision Pro. The goal is to help developers learn how to design and build apps and games specifically for this new headset. For those who want a bit more personalized help, developers can sign up for one-on-one -on -one consultations. This is a chance to get expert advice on app design, the latest technologies, and other important topics. These sessions are super flexible, too. They're held in multiple time zones and are available both online and in person, so developers from all over can join in. If you're a developer and this sounds like your kind of thing, you can check out the full list of expert sessions on Apple's developer website. Apple's really making sure developers have everything they need to create amazing things for the Vision Pro.